Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Where are we? That's what you're wondering. Well, that's Skevenidi Supermarket, which formerly was known as the Carrefour Supermarket. And uh, well, it changed its name. It's probably three or four years ago now, but a lot of people still refer to it as the Carrefour Supermarket. Where are we? Heading down towards the Old Town. We're in central Paphos. This is the area that I used to refer to as Hell. And uh, don't worry, Hell hasn't gone away. It's just moved a little bit further down the road towards the top end of the Old Town. So this road now is pretty much fully open and there's allocated parking and uh, some bollards on the pavement to stop us from parking on the pavements. I mean, who comes up with these ideas? I don't know, because pavements in downtown Paphos in particular are there especially for people to park their cars on, especially if you've got a black S-Class and your name is Mr. Paul. And remember, I actually know the mayor. I haven't just got his secretary's number, I've actually got his own personal mobile number. So if I ever get into trouble, I can always phone the mayor and he can just tell me to, well, off. There we go. Right, let's continue on our trek. We're starting the descent downhill. We're going to come out towards the top end of the old town and then we're going to continue and take a little bit of a right and head out down towards downtown Cato Paradise, which of course is downtown Cato Papos and in particular the harbour area because as you can see, Oh, that sky, it's pretty blue. Oh, that sea, I promise you, when we get there, it's going to be pretty blue. Mr. Paul, well, guess what? He's dressed head to toe in blue. So all that is actually missing is you. So why don't you get yourself on a big bird or a canoe and start paddling like crazy. Ian the Butcher and of course the most beautiful lady from downtown Frogham in Chester. Well, they've done just that. They are in downtown Keta Paphos, and I promise you, we're going to bump into them probably tomorrow, and we're going to get them to do the Chachuchka dance down the Keta Paphos promenade and make a complete and utter fool of ourselves. There we are. Now, as you can see, we have entered downtown hell. This is where they are still doing a bit of big diggering and, uh, well, what can I say? They're putting in this pipe and that pipe. The road surface is, is from hell. So if your name is Lady oh, oh, so, so sweet Caroline, get your bottom on a memory foam pillow and just before you do, pour a tot or two for the superstar, the man known as Lord Nigel Big Guns. And a big, big shout out to Miss Ellie and of course Barney the dog. As well. Now, let's go and check who is on the breakfast crew today. Now, the girl in charge of pretty much everything on Marie Crimi, and guess what? She's in Paphos next week, so we're going to get her to dance the church church get down the Cater Paphos promenade as well. I can see she's frantically uh, redirecting her plane and perhaps going over to Crete or perhaps Kos. Why Kos? Well, guess what? The girl in charge of the weather, yes, Miss Dawn, with a husband called Mr. Sean, a little cat called Miss Daisy, and a dog called Bobo. The weather, by the way, is 22 degrees in downtown Paphos, quite early in the morning, so that's not bad, is it? And it's going to be exactly the same in Kos, which is where Dawn and Sean are going. So you never know, Dame Anne may redirect her flight, but I think she quite likes it, so she'll probably come to Paphos and uh, go for some gluten-free fish and chips at TJ's. Fish and Chip Shop, the best fish and chip shop in the whole of Paphos, just at the top end of Bar Street, across the road to the Amara Five Star Luxury Beach Star Hotel. Anyway, we're stuck in gridlock traffic. If your name is Dizzy Blonde, and uh, I don't think there's a traffic light in sight, Miss Andrea. We're just stuck. I think in a minute we'll go and hunt down the lady in red. If you remember that video, that was a video where I drove through central Paphos and there was a, a lady in red, in a beautiful red dress, and uh, she walked and she outwalked me over one kilometre because I was in gridlock traffic. One minute I was ahead, then she was ahead, and in the end she absolutely levered me. And of course we understand that Krista Burr was serenading her as she walked up the main streets in downtown Paphos. And he was saying, Lady in Red, 
You look beautiful. I can't remember the words, but I remember the song. It was a great, great song, wasn't it? Now, talking about singing, we've got some karaoke stars in the family, by the way. We've got the superstars known as Jeremy and Simon Payne, and they're going to have a sing-off with the baby Barnhawk. Yes, Miss Fern. We're going to organise this, and we're going to make sure that the baby Barnhawk wins otherwise of course we understand that her father who's a baron and if you understand the hierarchy well a baron is much higher than a lord well he's going to have you beheaded if you dare to outsing the baby barnhawk and of course i don't think anyone can outsing the baby barnhawk her voice well what can i say if ever her career as a teacher fails which of course it won't she could go on to x factor and i'm pretty sure that simon cowell would just well, it's Britain's Got Talent, and it just hit the golden buzzer because that girl takes your breath away. And of course, we understand that she takes the breath away of a superstar known as Harry the Keeper as well. And they're off to Crete for their next holiday, and I'm pretty sure that that will be the place where Harry the Keeper makes the wonderful lady known as Miss Fern, the baby Barnhawk, his keeper for the rest of her life. Well, where are we? We're still in hell, as you can see, but at least we're moving, aren't we? And uh, slowly but surely, they are, shall we say, completing these infrastructures. They have to be done, we understand that. And we understand that it's a major inconvenience to the locals, the foreigners, the tourists, everyone that's around. But unfortunately, it has to be done. And there's no good time, and of course, there's no right time. And if your name is Verdonis the Mayor, you have to make the decisions, and it has to be done. And at the end of the day, in English we would say, he's buggered if he doesn't, and he's buggered if he does. But, in fairness to the man, he's an honest man, he's a genuine man, and he's a great, great man. And I consider him to be a true friend. And as time goes on, our friendship's going to grow. And as time goes on, we're going to have an interview with him on camera. And as time goes on, you're going to get to know him pretty well. Because whenever we spot him in the downtown Kedda Paphos Harbour, he has invited us to come over and to say hi and he will say hi to you guys and say come to Paphos come and have a great great holiday in Paphos but he's a man who understands that there is competition in the world and he will not hold it against you like us if you want to pop off to Kos if your name is Miss Dawn and Mr Sean we'll forgive you and of course if your name is Miss Fern and you've got Harry the Keeper and you're going to go scuba diving looking for a diamond ring somewhere in Crete good luck to it but don't forget if you find it your dad wants it back Miss Fern and of course your mum the Baroness Louise will wear it with pride that's for sure so where are we this is Kennedy Square and uh, on both sides there's a car park on the left hand side and now to the right that is Kennedy Square you've got the Boulevard Taberna and the Nior I think is the other one that's how you pronounce it and if you walk down there you are in the old town and there's lots of shops for you to peruse and uh, plenty of little coffee shops for you to get a drink cold hot drink alcoholic or non-alcoholic they even now and again sell that thing called Pepsi Max with one or two shows and look at that Miss Andrew these lights are on green luckily for me I don't know the difference why because I'm color blind whether they're red green or amber as Lord Simon says we don't need traffic lights in downtown Paphos that's for sure this was a road remember that was in hell for about 18 months and as you can see now it's open they haven't filled the pavements in properly yet but this is the road where the lady in red was serenaded by the one and only Christopher and this is the road where she absolutely out walked me I remember I'm in a Mercedes S class but of course when you're in gridlock that doesn't really help now the road goes a little bit Sherlock Holmes again and we are finally starting our descent down down San Kedah Paphos Harbour area. I'm pretty sure if you look very carefully now, you notice it's all downhill and further yonder over the rooftops of the buildings, you can see something that is very, very blue indeed. And that is the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. As a lady said the other day when we bumped into her in the harbour, she said, Miss Sochik was seen in the book, the most beautiful woman in the world. And as we were going away on camera, she went blue, 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 Mediterranean Sea. Absolute superstars all the way from Blackburn. And uh, hopefully we're going to bump into them again 
because they're in town for at least another week. So big, big shout out to you guys. And uh, if you want to meet us, don't forget, we're pretty easy to find. I'm an idiot in a blue hat with a pair of sunglasses, walking around with a strange instrument in my hand, making these stupid little YouTube videos. And of course, to my right hand side is the most beautiful blonde woman in the world. And her name is Miss Archie and you're our CV Al, are both. So, if you spot us, please, please come over and say hello. Don't think you're going to interrupt us because what we do, well, we're not very professional. I think you understand that bit by now. So don't forget to come over and say hi. And if you want to be on camera and you want to shout out to your family, friends, your cat, your dog, perhaps if you find a YouTuber in COS, you can shout out to Mr. Bobo and Miss Daisy the Cat, if your name is Miss Sean and you've got a husband called Mr. Dawn. Now, Mr. Dawn? No, sorry, Mr. Sean. I'm getting confused. I'm confused with my English. It's getting hot. It's too early in the day. I need to go for a coffee. So on that note, here we go. What a nice link that was, isn't it? If you're wondering how the channel is funded, it's very, very simple. It's funded on the platform called Buy Me A Coffee. So it enables you to buy us a virtual coffee. Click through to our About page where you will find that little icon that says Buy Me A Coffee. Click on it once or twice and please consider to buy us a coffee or two. We take your coffees and we pop them in the tank and of course that allows us to continue to keep driving around and we can make special special videos for you and if you want an extra special video again a few coffees let us know where you want us to go what hotel it is what road you want us to go and drive down whose house you want to go and burgle and we'll go and burgle that house especially for you because remember i know the mayor i also know captain stavros although he'll probably beat the living deadlines out of me but anyway here we come we're coming up to the pathos Mal Ranabout. We've got the Bogona Garden Centre. They've got a coffee shop, by the way. Might pop in there and spend some of your money. But anyway, Bogona Coffee Shop is on our left, which means on our right is the shiny building known as the downtown gate of Bafos, Kings Avenue Mal. Because now, technically, we're on Kings Avenue. And this is the Mal Roundabout, the metal structure above us that we're going to transcend underneath. That is the Paphos Skywalk. That's a metal structure that allows you to walk up in the, well, what can we say, in the clouds. Not quite that high, it's about 10 meters, so about, what, 20 feet above the road surface, and it allows you to walk up into the archeological site. You get to go to a great viewing platform where you can look back down towards the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. And you get some fresh air and you're out of the fumes of these crazy people driving around with their boots open in Mercedes and people driving around like me making YouTube videos in a dirty, smelly S-Class Mercedes. But probably the most comfortable car in the world. Anyway, here we are. We're on the final descent. This is what we call the estate agents road, the property sellers road. If you're looking for a property in downtown Papos, this is probably the road for you. You've got Fitzgerald's, probably one of the most trusted agents in downtown Paphos on our right hand side. A bit further down, you've got Chesterton's again, that is a very, very popular property seller. And it's a British based company originally, isn't it? This is the franchise over in Cyprus. You've got a bit further yonder, West Coast Properties, and they are apparently the biggest and one of the most successful property sellers in downtown Paphos. So, I think you get the idea. If you're looking for that perfect place to buy in Cyprus, this is probably the street that you should be looking for. And then just when you've finished looking at the properties, you can either go up towards the Paphos Mall and chill out in the air-conditioned luxury, or you can walk down, as we're going, to the downtown Cade of Paphos Harbour area and sit down and absorb the views and the tranquility and the spectacality of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea as you do a little bit of people watching because we all like to do that, don't we? And you never know, while you're sitting there, you might get to see the idiot in a blue hat with a pair of sunglasses. He's always dressed in blue, by the way. Always, always. Even down to his socks and boxers. Rocks. And you can check if you want. I don't really mind. But on top of all of that, to my right-hand side, there will be the most beautiful girl in the world. And, of course, her name is Ms. Ochin Rosivia Labouf. Here we are, downtown Ketapafos Harbour, on a truly, truly spectacular day indeed. Feast your eyes and digest. Thanks for watching, and of course we will see you again.
very, very soon. There's Mr. Philatis. He's propositioning some people for a Jeep Safari. A bit further yonder, I can see Mr. Rickos is propositioning some people for the jumbo glass bottle. Bottle? Glass bottom boat. There we go. That's it. We'll see you in the next one very, very soon. Paphos Harbour on a truly, truly spectacular day. All that's missing is you. So why not get yourself down and do a bit of moseying on down. Bring your fishing rod because as you can see there's plenty of people fishing and uh, even the mayor perhaps will come and bring some chips and some bread and butter. There we are. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again very, very soon.